All right, Alex, 76 years in Celtics game total at 222, too high or too low? I think it's uh, too high. Um, since the trade deadline and since putting Robert Williams as the starting center, the Celtics ranked fourth in defensive rating. Um, the guy's just time Lord is just a freak. And uh, the Sixers are arguably the best defensive unit in basketball, especially with Joel Embiid healthy. And they're coming off a loss. So I think they're going to be hungry against their division rival. And also Evan Fournier was ruled out today just before we came on the show because of self uh, health and safety protocols. And he's really been a big burst for the Celtics off the bench, averaging 20 points in their last two. So I think without him, I think their offense might struggle, especially against this hungry Sixers team that's got Embiid. So I'm going under. A little bit of breaking news. Nick, you going under too? I, I think so. I mean, it, you know, you, you look back at some of Philly's recent games with Joel Embiid in the lineup, and you have to go back quite a bit given the amount of time that he missed. But their last four games – with a healthy MB, they scored 122, 127, 131, and 130. Uh, and that 131-point game did come against the best defense in the league in the Utah Jazz. So that that does make me consider the over just because this offense is so much different with a healthy MB. But like Alex said, I mean, these are two teams that are, are playing really great defense. Philadelphia, especially, they're, they're both in the top 10 in defensive rating over the last 10 games. Both teams right in the middle of the pack in terms of pace. So you wouldn't expect this to be a, a super fast-paced game by any means. Boston has gone under in 58% of its home games this season. Philly's gone under in 60% of its road games. So certainly the, you know, the numbers there suggest that this one will go under. Uh, both previous meetings did go over that 222 point total, but that was also when the Celtics were in, you know, in the throes of the, the health and safety protocols. No Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown was in and out of the lineup. So if you're going to look back at those two matchups, I think you kind of have to toss those out. Uh, I'm with Alex. I'll, I'll take the under on this one.